I am a queer immigrant artist, activist, and educator. As a person and choreographer of color, I have felt marginalized, left out, and underprivileged simply by being who I am. I tell my stories and my ancestors' stories to map the future of our dancing cultures, complex, strong, and vibrantly diverse. Dancing and choreography, it's liberating and equally frustrating because you can do so many things with the body. The body itself is already representing a lot of preconceived notions about the body itself and also the viewer. Historically, I draw from my ancestry as a Filipino. I also draw from my postmodern background to see if you can biculturally exist within one body. When do I oppress myself and why? What about when you do it to your loved ones or to your culture? When I am dancing, I need to know what the rules are, and then I can find freedom. The body is a recording device. It records memories, it records feelings, emotions. The body in movement, it can be poetic, but it can also be the opposite. It can be very, very robotic. And also, we all have our own movement signatures. Each of us moves in a very different way, and those stories are unique to each of us. If you have freedom, what do you do with it? And what does it look like? How do you design something that you can't describe? Freedom is elusive, it's undefinable. Can you design freedom? Well, gosh, I don't know. And as soon as you ask the question, you can't unask it.